I think the shit you say is really weird. And like that whole like Andrew Tate shit. You're like a mini Andrew Tate. But like, ugh. I'm sorry. You like gross me out. I'm not gonna lie. Nice nose ring. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm like a seven out of ten. I was a little low energy, but I'm higher energy now. How are you doing? That's good. Out of ten. Um, I'm a ten out of ten. So why are you on Omegle if you're a ten out of ten? I don't know. Cause I'm bored. If you're bored, that's a seven out of ten. Mm. Fun. Oh hi. Hi. Sorry, I was just yelling before. There was just somebody being rude. What's the dark thought that you have? Um, let me think. Sometimes I want to murder my sister. Why? Because she's a bitch. What did she do to you? Well, first of all, she snitched, she snitched on me. For and what? Then, For vaping? Yeah. Okay. And then um, she slapped me in the face. Oh. Because I wouldn't give her her phone case. Hmm. And then she also snitched on me again. For smoking weed. Rat. And she snitched on me for stealing five hundred dollars from my mom. Five hundred? Yeah. And then she also snitched on me for stealing um two packs of cigarettes from my mom. You love smoking. And... What? You love smoking and stealing from your mom. I do. And then I was so angry at her I punched her in the face. And um she also snitched on me for, I think, from stealing, like, 10 pounds of weed from my dad. And then, that's it. So, how would you murder her? Probably light her on fire in her sleeve. Lighter fluid or gasoline? Gasoline. Would you close the door, like, were you going to burn the whole house down, or just, like, keep it consolidated in that room? I'll probably like because she's a really heavy sleeper. Mm. I'll probably just pick her up and just like put her in the road and just like light on fire. That's a pretty painful way to go. Yeah. Well, stop snitching. Yeah. Hey, what's a dark thought that you have? Um, I don't really have any like dark thoughts that I can think off the top of my head. Or how about an uncomfortable thought that, you know, like intrusive thoughts. I want to hear about what people, what really goes to people's head that you can't share. Um, I guess like being like off of a building, you could like, you know. Like when you stand on balconies, you think like, yeah. I, I could jump Or like off. you could put your hand on like the stove, but like you shouldn't. Okay, that's not that bad. Like, what's uh, something that you think about that is too uncomfortable to communicate with other people because they would just think you're weird? I don't know. I've never really, like, thought about it that far. You've never laughed at something uncomfortably in public and then you just don't say it to anybody because they wouldn't understand? I guess so, yeah. What's Can you walk me through that scenario? <laughs> um... I can't really like think of anything off the top of my head to be com completely honest with you. What do you usually talk about? You have a nice podcast mic and the settings are very podcasty. So you talk in front of a mic a lot. Um, I don't really talk in front of a mic a lot. I just play with my friends. So I just got a nicer mic. <laughs> Valorant? Sorry? What do you play? I used to play like CSGO, uh, Overwatch. That's really it. Okay. You're not racist, right? Mm, no, I wouldn't say I am. <laughs> okay, okay, you're not racist, but what's the one race that you wouldn't procreate with? I mean, I have a type, but I wouldn't be like... If you had to single out one race to not spread your genetics with, what would it be? Do Jewish people count? <laughs> ha, <laughs> sway! Why? Um, I don't know if you've like heard recently. I I follow Kanye, so I think he's very like. Ha! Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Personally. What did he say that you agree with? Um, just like with everything, with like mainstream and like how Jewish people kind of 
t- took over everything and they like they run everything. So you want to, you want to, like no, 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 this is, this is, this is good. So you, you want to continue the master race? Sorry? Do you want to continue the master race? I guess you could say that. Sure. What Why do you, do you not agree with that or? No, no, no I'm, I'm just so surprised you said that because I'm not used to, uh, to this level of honesty. What do you think that the, the Jews control based off of what Ye said? Media, heavily. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a Jewish woman does run YouTube and they do run a lot of the mainstream media. Yeah, Susan. <laughs> yeah, Susan, yeah. Okay, you pay, you know a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty like knowledgeable on this kind of stuff. Okay. I'm more right wing, I guess you could say. Okay. I'm not, I was raised very like right wing. I'm Polish, so W. That's usually how Polish parents are. <laughs> Wait, and you don't like Jews? Um, not really. No. <laughs> but Polish people. What is your name? Like Kaczynski? Um. No, no, don't say. Don't say. Don't say. But okay. it, you probably have one of those ski names. Ska. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not Ashkenazi. S-K-A. Okay. 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 Um, 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 what do you, what do you think about Jewish men? Um, I don't really have like an opinion, like really against them, but like, I just don't want to be involved in that. <laughs> involved in, in controlling the media? Yeah, that's, I don't know. Everything that's been going on is just kind of sad. I live in Canada and like, I couldn't like leave my house be- like for two years cause I'm not vaccinated. It's disgusting. So, oh, so you're still you're unvaccinated? I'm still unvaccinated. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay, okay. What do you think of Trump? W. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 20. It's nice to meet you. It's nice, nice to meet to you. Too. Wait, 10. Uh, to single, thank you for all you do. Keep up the good fight. I'm a daily viewer. You inspire me. A lot of people keep it, giving up to three or four. Thanks, bro. Um, what else? What else should I ask you? Um, Ukraine or Russia? Russia. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 what do you think of Joe Biden? Not, not a fan. <laughs> Why are you not vaccinated? Um, well, my, my family was actually very like heavily against it. They looked into vaccines beforehand and they just kind of like, they educated educated me and then they just kind of like i don't know this is kind of like sus and they like were like just wait wait it out a little bit see what happens and then they were like oh yeah it's it's pfizer and then they like approved it and my parents don't like fuck with that i kind of go off of them they're very like smart so and then i just kind of like formed my own opinion into it it was really scary though like a lot of my friends were like per- pressuring me into getting it and they're like why didn't you have it like you should get your booster like whatever i'm like no, i don't i don't do that <laughs> yeah, did yeah. you see the the project veritas undercover video my parents actually um they showed me all of that <laughs> you have base like, parents yeah are they your, your birth my parents, parents like, or? Uh, they use like like they showed me rumble before like everything yeah no no my my parents showed me rumble what like, like, yeah are you real yes <laughs> is this a simulation it could be <laughs> what who do you watch on rumble i think you know who <laughs> no i don't you <laughs> wait what the Mm-hmm. <laughs> How did you not give it away this whole time? You just seemed like you were a normal, just TikTok Omegle bot. Um, because I saw you were going on Omegle. <laughs> oh, what the, yeah. you, you, you're good undercover, man. Oh, wait, okay, okay. This is why. Okay, 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 okay. I okay. like donated to your like stream like a couple days ago, Isabel. You're oh, Isabel? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> Belita, right? No, no, no. The one with the like one. Um, like number and then the like L E. I see you in the chat all the time. Yo, it's yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh shit, this is crazy. Oh, and that's why you didn't get weirded out while I read the donos. Jeannie says, uh, <laughs> and she's got a Bass Pro shop hat. Do you? Oh, it's in the back. You do. You got yeah, the base Trump hat. 
Uh, rare Omegle W. Yeah, this is this is a rare W. Um, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me hide the chat. What's your Instagram? Sorry. What's your Instagram? Oh, Type it in. Yeah. It's hidden, so I'm, I'm always. It's gonna hidden. Find it. Okay. Yeah. Before I get like. Oh, the other Isabel is saying it's not her. She's jealous right now. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me let me give you my Instagram. I gotta double check it. Hold on. Um... Yo, Aiden texted me back, Chad. He's a yo. Okay. But it should be that. Me. You ever been to Miami? Uh, no, I haven't. Isabel Powell. Because you know, like the unvaccinated people, we need to uh, we need to stick together. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, zero I'm posts. Not... Zero posts on Instagram. Yeah, I try to keep it quiet. <laughs> you're not a social media person. Not really. Oh, so you're not a Fed, right? I am. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. People in the chat are saying you're a CIA plant to destroy. Totally. I'm in. I'm from the Matrix. So. <laughs> How do you think I can improve my stream? Um, I'd say your streams are pretty good, but I just feel like you should interact more with the chat a little bit more. I'm pretty active with the chat. I, I see like the- mm, Sometimes you for like forget about the chat. <laughs> when I even know your, I know the people's names in here. Okay. There's, there's regulars, shout out to Olix. Would you, should I have <laughs> a free Olix, right? Yeah. <laughs> I unbanned him and I don't even know where he's at. I know that I, I see the, the regular people okay. here all the time. WL okay. chat, redacted Ryan. I bro, I know the regulars. Robert Paulson. Um, Lil I don't Keed. know. I don't really have any like. Interact with the chat more? Okay, okay. Chat, do you agree with her type of one if you agree with um <laughs> with base Polish wifey? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting a lot of W's right now. Um, 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 Thank um, you. Um, what what opinions do I have that you disagree with? Um, I generally like agree with most of the things you say. It's just like having multiple like girlfriends. That's kind of or like cheating. That's kind of where it like crosses for me. But other than that, not really. You're a Christian. I'm a Catholic. Yeah. Where's your Bible? Downstairs. <laughs> I have yeah. like, like three Bibles in my house. Three? Yeah. Okay. And you, you know, I got to ask you this question. What's your body count? Uh, one. <laughs> I regret it. <laughs> Good. I mean, if you pray enough, you can subtract it. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> it will, well, we can reset it. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Yo, sneak up. Yo, what up? You look like a TikTok guy. Hey, <laughs> you did that what? really well. Is that actually sneaker? Yeah, what's up, man? Yo, bro, I actually know you. Where do I stream? Rumble, bro, that dirty ass website. What you mean? Not, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, hold on. Hey, you know Steezy, right? Yeah. That's my friend, too. That's my friend, too. I'm planning to make a movie with him. He's going to come here next we're a couple a couple weeks. Oh, wait, yeah. Aren't you guys going to? I don't know if I can say it. Actually, do you care or? Cause he told me some shit. Cause I was asking about you because I just really fuck with you, bro. Oh, but why are you dissing my website like that? Oh no, I'm not. It's just like, damn, bro, that's crazy. Man. I just hold on, hold on. You, my, the CEO watching my stream, Chris. Uh, what can you tell him that needs fixing on the website? What are you doing? Oh me? Wait, you're you're talking to me? Yeah. Oh, what'd you, what'd you say? <laughs> what, what the fuck was that? Wait, are you gonna ask if I'm real? Bro, I know you're real. I, we, okay, bro, Can what? ask me if I put two fingers because like, I just look like weirdly like attractive or good on Omega. What? Are you gonna ask me if I'm real? No. You know how the girls like, Never mind, bro. Never mind. What? You know how the girls on Omega, you see those clips with the and they're trying to like, you know, they're like posing and shit, and the girl's like, oh, are you real? And that's like all their content is. They just post that shit. What, what's, the, what's the pose? What's the pose? You think I can do it? Do you think I'm going to No, it's so fucking gay, bro. Like, they just be like, like, actually, like this, or like, you know, like that. Let me try. Yo, but that's crazy, bro. Wait, I'm going to call Steezy. I'm going to trip him out right now. Hold up. 
<laughs> am I, wait, am I doing it? Help me out. Coach me. Oh, let me see. The fuck? Are you real? Wait, let me call Steezy real quick. This is funny. I'm waiting. He's not picking up, man. Hold up. And you're not up like that, bro. Hold up. I swear to God. Damn, bro. That's tough, bro. What's an intrusive thought that you have? Um. Two. Oh, okay. This is when I was young, though. You're still young. I'm 18. That's still young. Okay. Well, what, I would have these things when I was a kid, when I was like six or seven, and like my parents would call them like feelings, and I would be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill my brother because, and like I had these things where I was like, um, and like my head would tell me like, uh, like I'd be like, when I was kid, I'd be in like the shower, or something like, oh, bang your head on the wall, so I'd do it, and I. I had to get stitches. Do you still have them? Let me see. No, I don't have those like urges things. But the last one was when I was um, 11. And yeah, I like me and my sister got in a physical fight. She's six years older than me. And yeah, we like she was trying to like call me and everything. Um, but I was like going crazy. So who won the fight? Um, well, like, eventually my dad grabbed us, but, yeah. So you lost, though. You If you won, you would have said that. <laughs> I mean, my sister's six years older than me, and... Excuses. Well, Look at you making excuses. <laughs> That's the last time you had in it. What about now? Like, do you have... So you're actually banging your head. That's not even an intrusive thought. You're actually doing it. But what's, like, something you think about right now? Oh, you... just, like doing the when i do the dishes just like breaking on the floor what's stopping you my mother <laughs> what is she gonna do is she gonna go drag you away uh well my my grandpa lives with us so i don't want him stepping on the glass if you lived alone you think you would do it i wouldn't do my house because i feel like i'd miss this like a piece but me and my friends we've like we wrote we wrote things down on plates and then we went to like this like empty like train track, abandoned train track, and then we broke them all. It was very, it was very fun. It was therapeutic, right? You felt good. It was very therapeutic. You kind of live a life of like a movie girl from a Disney movie who's like going through stuff. <laughs> this like she's at the train tracks. You're getting in fights with your sister. You you got like main character life. <laughs> I my friends always tell me that because like. I've done, me and my friends will break into hotel pools and then, yeah, so that's always fun. We've, um, I've almost got arrested for, um, while we were doing fireworks and my friend Noah, he got illegal fireworks from, um, Arizona with his dad and we caught a bush on fire. Um, you got what? We caught a bush on fire. Oh. Um. It was an accident, and but it was it was fine. Like it eventually went out and stuff. Um, but yeah, they're like you can't be like they're like you can't like you can't be doing like these fireworks in like next to so many buildings. Da 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 da. And then we've gone on private property once by accident um, from looking at this awesome view. And then we also filled up my dad's truck. Well, I I took his car, um, and then we put a tarp. Um, and it, and it filled the trunk up with water and we had a water truck and then my brother drove the truck and me and my friends, um, cause me and my brother, we were close in age ish. Um, we were the same friends. So we took the truck and yeah, we filled up with water and had a water truck. It was crazy. Why are you so reckless? <laughs> um, it's actually really funny because my friends don't know this because they just think I'm a scholar in school because I have a 3.9 GPA. Nerd. I just do my homework and pay attention in class. Well, sometimes I just put my headphones in. Um, yeah, life is fun, but also it's really hard. 
What's hard? Mental health. But why are you so rec- like, what is hard about mental health? To do the right thing I every day and not smash dishes and stuff like that and not to fight your sister? What's so hard about it? I- oh, you have depression, anxiety, you about to say? Yeah, I do. Do you actually? I, yeah, I do. I'm diagnosed from a doctor. A, di- a doctor can diagnose anything. Just because you take medication for it doesn't mean you actually have it. No, I do. I've had it since I was a kid. I have severe panic attacks. Um, and yeah, it's like a lot of stuff. But yeah. You're on serotonin? You're on SSRIs? Um, it's antidepressants. Yeah, SSRIs, right? Well, yeah. Um, I used to fight my mother because, well, so when I was a kid, she would, I also have like H. pylori, which is um, just like eczema and stuff. And it was this terrible medicine. And so I, my mom would have to shove the, anti, the um, anxiety medicine when I was a kid and the um, like um, medication just for my like eczema and stuff on my arms. And I would like fight her and my parents because it was like, my mom regrets that till this day because it was like the worst thing anyone has ever tasted. Like she tells me now, she's like, I'm so sorry for doing that to you as a kid because it was terrible. The doctors even told her this is the worst like medication we have like tasting wise. And it didn't even help me. Have you tried (laughs) God or just pills? Oh, no, I'm very religious. I'm super Christian. You're Christian? Uh-huh. I thought you were Muslim. You're not Arabic? No, I'm Indian. Oh, you're Indian. Yeah, I'm a disciple. I go to church. I have a deep relationship with God. Um, And all these people I do this with, I, like, I've never gotten drunk. I've never gotten high. I don't, I don't do any of that. I've never had a boyfriend. Um, Yeah, all my friends, like they're from church and we do things but like they're obviously reckless and stuff but we are very safe and we all love each other and stuff what do you mean what do you mean we do things like we break into what's it called hotel pools and um accidentally go on private property and stuff like that it's funny seeing religious kids when they can't drink and they can't have sex and stuff like that. So they just end up acting out by breaking. Into no, it's our pools. choice. It's all of our choice. We're not like, oh, we're religious. So I know, but they're like, choosing to do that to go act out. But teenagers need some sort of outlet. So yours turns out to be breaking into hotel pools. No, well, it's not. We just sometimes we'll just ask people if there are people inside to like open it or the gate is even open. Like there's been so many times that the, they, the gate is open, so we just go in. <laughs> um, and we don't get like we the people will just like, hey, pool's closed. Could you guys leave? Like we, they've never like called the cops. What happened to your dad? My dad. Yeah. What about him? Where's he at? I mean, we don't have a good relationship, but mm. he's here. Yeah. Oh, he's there? He's in the house? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. What do you, do you think doing? he loved to go get milk? Do you think he what? Do you think he loved to go get milk? I don't know. I just, you talk a lot about your mom and you're acting out, stuff like that. Usually, I mean, people on the internet say that that's fatherless behavior. I mean, my, my dad is like, we have a really tough relationship, but my mom trusts me. So like, it's fine. Like, even when me and my brother took my dad's truck, like, it was fine. He didn't care. He was just like... He probably should have cared. Well, he obviously did care because it was like 1, 2 a.m. Um, 1, 2 a.m. you're driving around with the pool in your dad's truck? <laughs> like, he cared, but, like, he knew that, like, we didn't sneak out to do anything, like, going with, like, doing drugs or alcohol and stuff like that. He, like, um... That's some suburban shit. This is some bored, small town, public school small suburban. Town. This is some sm- perks of being a wallflower, middle of America, nothing. In place. California. There could still, there's a lot of small towns in California. Uh, we li- we're from Torrance. Exactly. Who the, what the fuck is Torrance? Torrance is a very popular city. No, it's not. What's the population? 60,000? It's like right next to LA. 
It's not LA though. This is that, that's what people know Torrance for for being right next to LA. Torrance, California population. Oh, 143,000. All right. All right. You live like uh that's like euphoria. <laughs> that's what that's what you do. Just minus the drugs and alcohol and sex. What type of what type of conversations have you had so far on Omegle today? I'm surprised uh, girls like you with lip, lock, lip gloss on, they usually just like look, skip, skip, skip. Vaseline. I have a huge tub of Vaseline in my room. No. I. It looks like the sweetie lip gloss. No, it's this. I have a huge tub of Vaseline. I love Vaseline. Yeah, but what are your conversations been like so far today? Um, you're actually one of the few people that I just met coming on here. I but the other day I had a really deep and amazing conversation with this dude, Brandon. We had a super amazing conversation about God and I invited him to church because I have at uh, this church in Torrance and I have a lot of my closest friends I grew up with. And yeah, we just had this deep conversation. It was so awesome. It was like the best conversation I've ever had with anyone. Besides this on one. This. Like he was a solid dude. Besides this conversation. Um, sure. I'm doing all the, I'm doing the heavy lifting of this conversation though. How old are you? I'm 24. Oh, I thought you were going to say like 28 because I'm like, okay. I look 28. Thank you. You're very straightforward. <laughs> Would you prefer that I was more mysterious and shifty? You t you're like Andrew Tate. Like you sound like Andrew Tate. Who's that? He's this guy on social media. That's he's like a billionaire. Now he's like a millionaire. He's a billionaire. Isn't that no. the the misogynist guy? Yeah. I, ugh, God, it's the worst. He's the worst, right? Isn't he a human trafficker? Is he? I don't know. I thought I thought I heard he went to jail for for raping and trafficking. I have no idea. You didn't hear about that? No, I just know that he like oh. doesn't believe in women's rights and is like I don't know. He just that's I, terrible. I that's terrible. I love personally like out of all the genders, women probably one of the top two. Um, like when it comes to rights, I think women should have them. You sound a lot like Andrew Tate. No, but I disagree. Like I think that you, I think that you should vote. Mm -hmm. I think I think that you, you could drive. What do you mean? Wait, huh? I think that you could drive. I can drive. Yeah, I. So that's what I'm saying. Like you should have some rights. Women do have rights, though. Yeah, I know. Which is good. That's a good thing. Like yeah, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a feminist personally. Yeah, me too. You are. What's your favorite feminist issue? I like. I went to a protest before, um, for the because this is actually when I was in Dallas. I went to a protest about um abortions and how it's unfair how men are choosing that we can't have abortions even though it's not their bodies and they don't know what it's like, like. Sorry, um, they don't know what's like. Like, what if a woman was raped, and then you're saying she can't have an abortion even if she doesn't want to have that child? Because women have died from giving birth. Yeah, yeah. I like. I, I love abortion personally. Wait, I just wanted to check out this. Uh, this image. people say sometimes say that it look like, like uh, Andrew. Just uh, check out this link right here. Cause I've heard that before. Oh, this bitch. Fuck. Damn it, Chad, I was so fucking close, man. Fuck! Fuck! As soon as she saw the link, man. Damn it! Hey, how you doing? What do you, what's an intrusive thought that you have? Wait, what the fuck? Are you real? Yeah, I'm real. Why are you whispering? Wait, what the fuck? I've seen you before. Wait, what the fuck? What's an intrusive thought that you have? Um, one intrusive thought that I have is... Wait, what is intrusive thought like? Like the thought that infects your head that you don't want, like, 
right now I should go and punch this old lady for no reason. Oh, definitely like killing my family. How I would, get really pissed. How would you do it? Oh God, I don't know. Sorry, I'm moving. I don't know, like if I get really pissed at somebody, like definitely murdering them. But like, yeah. But like, how would you do it though specifically? Oh God, I don't know, like whatever the situation is, like push them down the stairs, stab them. I don't know. Push them down the stairs? Anything, like if we're on the top of the stairs and I'm mad at them, like that's my truth of thought, okay? So don't judge. I'm not judging, this is the reason I asked it. Okay. What does your family do to piss you off to get that mad? I don't even know. I'm literally like bipolar, so they can do anything. Oh, I'm, I'm literally so bipolar okay. too. Yeah. Are you, are you manic or depressive right now? What does that mean? I felt bipolar is you're always one or the other. Yeah, like, oh wait, manic or, oh. For me, it's like really fucking happy or really fucking sad or really fucking pissed as hell. And right that's, now- That's happy. three things. Bipolar's I two. Know. Okay, well I have, it, I actually have BPD, which is kind of like bipolar. I just say it's bipolar, but it's called borderline personality disorder. I know what that is. Like, so, I guess, isn't that just like where your emotions are heightened? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I don't know. What are your, what are your pronouns? Why do you want to know that? Because sometimes when I talk to they, them people, it's kind of like PPD because that's multiple personalities and they, them is plural. Well, guess what? What? Well, I'm not a they, them, but I'm transgender. What does that mean? It means that, um, I don't even know what it means. Wait, so Bitch, are you, are you? You know damn well. Who? You know damn well what it means. Are you a trans woman or a trans man? I'm a trans girl. But what's your, what's your real thing? Bumbaka! What do you mean? Like, what were you born as? A boy. Oh. You gotta look like Blair White. Okay, but she has some very controversial opinions that I don't agree with, but whatever. Are you whispering to cover up your boy voice? No, actually. I, I don't even have a boy voice, but my parents are like right outside my door. My door. Like, and it's kind of scary because they've come in twice. And I'm gonna like cry because they did not know I'm on Omegle. What would they do if they found out you were on Omegle? I don't know. They don't even know what Omegle is, but like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty funny that I was able to protect the trans thing with the BPD. A lot of you gender fluid people also are mentally insane. Yeah, for sure. So are yeah. you really born in the wrong body or are you just insane? No, definitely. I don't think it is related, but maybe I think I got B, 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 or BPD because I'm trans. Like, all the emotions going on were definitely heightened. Did you get the snip snip? No, I'm 16, so I'm not old enough to get that. Are you on puberty blockers? Yeah, but I'm not on hormones. Do you want to be? Yeah, but it takes a long time. Don't you miss being a boy? What do you like about being a girl? I don't know. I don't really. I like everything about it. Have you ever met trans people that regretted doing what they do? Yeah, but they're all the like detransitioners. Most of them are still like supportive. Like, like if somebody's like against trans people, they always use detransitioners as like an argument. But like, I've never met a detransitioner who's like against trans people. Do you think you're even old enough to decide that you're a different gender? You've barely finished puberty. Yes. I am. I did a brain scan. And a Hello, I'm That's necessary. If you want to transition, you have to like get it. So 
psychiatrically like interviewed for like months i don't it's really complicated but like yeah do you think there's a chance that you would ever change your mind and regret the decisions you're making when you're only a teenager no i wouldn't guess you're like when they do that like brain thing like your your brain's gender can't change i mean it's obviously for detransitioners it happened but that's just because they never were trans and they were just having like a mental whatever but like i knew that i was trans since i was like two or something so so you were two I don't remember anything when I was two. How do you even know what gender is a two? What are you talking about, Tranny? I don't know. I, I told my parents that I was a girl when I was two years old. Have you found our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? No, I have not found Jesus yet, bud. Obviously. I'll, I'll pray for you. Bumba Claw chat! Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to pause for a second. Chat, did you see that one person? Did you see that one person in the chat who called that shit hot? Did you guys see that? Call him out. What the fuck? I, I highlighted the username. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bruh. Don DeMarco, that for real, bro. Chat, you called it. Thank you for the 10, Mr. Martin. Dear dad and mom, your son and daughter is going to stab you to death with your cutlery night night. That kid, yeah, bro. It, it, it's it's kind of sad. I feel so sorry for this boy. Poor child. His father is not home and his mother is insane and evil. This boy is hurting and so needs someone to talk to you. Maybe I should have kept it going, chat. Um, but they're, they're, they're convinced. I would not use a condom with this tranny girl that's 16 and a boy. You're banned for five minutes. Put you in timeout for that comment. Put you in timeout for that. Bro, Abdul says she's hot as fucking not 16. You're, you're okay. You know what? You're done for the day. Banned for this live stream. What the fuck? Do you like it? Yeah. Thank you. What's an intrusive thought hey. that you have? You're that dude. Uh, you're that girl. What's an intrusive thought that you have that you don't tell other people? Pushing people down the stairs. Why? I want to see what happens if I do. Who? Anyone. When's the last time you've had this thought? The last time I pushed someone down the stairs. No, the last time you thought about doing it. Hopefully you don't actually do it. I don't know. Like a week ago? What was the reason? Just out of nowhere? I just think about it. I'm like, what would happen if I just punch him down the stairs? Or if I just start screaming out of nowhere? Just screaming in his face? No, like if I'm in class and I'm like, what if I just like stand up and scream? Like, can, can you, not? how, could you scream right now? I want to see what it would sound like. No, it's nighttime. My brothers are asleep. What type, like a scream like, ah, or like an angry scream, like a yelping scream, screaming for help or screaming out of anger? No, that's the first one, just like screaming. Why don't you push the person down the stairs when you think it? Because that's not nice. I did it one time. It was like a little nudge. What was the context? Okay, it was my friends and they were being mean. So I pushed them a little bit and it was funny and they pushed me. But not down the stairs tumbling like. No, 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 not like. Like, I wouldn't do that, but I kind of want to. When did the what start? Are yours? When did the start? Hold on, I want to dig. Okay, I owe you one. Um, so the one I, I've been telling people is sometimes when I stand on the balcony, I'm thinking like, I could just go head first. Boo! Like, like do a... Like yeah, a, don't, but I, don't, don't, don't. I don't want to do it. I don't, I, there's no part of me that wants to do it, but I just think about it. Cause oh. if I did it, then I would split open like a watermelon. But, and, I, and then I think about like, what's stopping me from doing it and how I enjoy living. Oh yeah. I want to kill myself. Why? A lot. I don't know. My meds aren't working. You're on antidepressants? Yeah. Why are you, you're not depressed? Yeah, I am. Why are you so convinced that you're depressed? What do you mean? I got diagnosed with depression. I've been depressed since I was like nine. Can you even know if you have a sadness like that when you're nine years old? Well, I don't know. But I know I'm depressed for sure now. Why do you know that for sure? I mean, when you try to kill yourself, you're like, I don't think you do that when you're happy. Oh, you tried? Yeah. Why? What's wrong in your life? I'm not gonna tell you. Why am I even telling you this? Well, you don't have to. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> you can if you want to. I'm, I'm not gonna judge you. 
Um, yeah, I don't really want to tell you. Okay, but when you were not, did it happen when you were nine, when you were diagnosed, or afterwards? Um, wait, what? <laughs> uh, we don't need to talk about this, but. I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I don't, know, I don't even know why I brought it up. And so we were talking about intrusive thoughts. Oh, yeah. Okay, give me another one. Give you another intrusive thought? Yeah. I think that depressed people believe oh, they're okay. depressed, but they shouldn't be depressed. That's an intrusive thought that I had just now. I'm like, she's not actually depressed, but she's convinced she is. So that big pharma could sell her pills forever and ever and ever. And she could be constantly in therapy and believing she is depressed. And people constantly defend their depression instead of try to believe that they're not. And people are so quick to defend a mindset that keeps them down. I think because people get dopamine from being down. It gives them a sense of validation for not getting better and for believing that there's something, a sickness that they have in their brain that makes their life harder than other people's. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard, not gonna lie, I'm sorry. Why is that? I mean, it's a mental illness. When you're depressed, you're depressed. Like, you can try to fix it and pills will help. I think everyone should be in therapy, no matter what, even if your life is good. It's good to talk about things, no matter what. Can't you talk about things with your friends and with people in your life rather than a therapist? Well, sometimes, like, you don't always wanna talk to your friends about that shit. So you go to a therapist. You think everybody should be in therapy, even men, people who are supposed to be providing and be people that act what? and contribute? Do men need therapy. No, it's men not. really need it. You're, you're saying men should go to therapy, but isn't it better to continue on with life instead of stewing it? Therapy is literally an action. Therapy is literally there stewing and talking about the past instead of moving forward. Sometimes isn't the, isn't the best solution moving forward rather than stewing in it and sitting about it and thinking about it yeah. and talking about it? You don't always need to talk about the past, but sometimes it can help. So yeah, I think most people should be in therapy. Now you're moving the goalpost. You went from all people need therapy to most people. I mean, maybe you don't, but I feel like everyone does. I don't know, you don't have to though, is what I'm saying. Uh, everyone should. Why do you think men need therapy? Um. Well, like I said, I think everyone needs therapy, but I think a lot of men really do because they don't talk about their feelings. What happens when men don't talk about their feelings? You bottle it up, it's not good. Because why? I don't really, I don't, ugh, I know who you are, I'm just saying. I don't know who you are, I'm just talking to you. If, I see this is making yeah, you uncomfortable. I, know, but I know who you are. We don't, if, I see this is making you physically uncomfortable. You started off talking about the finger and the dog and now it went whoa, all the way over here. These are difficult conversations, but in a sense, isn't this kind of therapeutic? Over here, we're talking about intrusive thoughts. We're talking about dark things with strangers and I get to figure out a lot about myself and also about other people talking uh, on Omegle, talking to the chat, streaming all the time, having conversations with people. I think that this is a more effective way of therapy because instead of hiding things and being afraid of the public, you're really open and honest with people that you've never seen before and you might not ever see again. Yeah, I guess. But I'll be fine, like, talking to anyone else about this, but I think it's uncomfy because I, like, know... Like, I've seen clips of you. What have you seen? Online. What's your perception of me? I don't like you. What did I do to you? I feel... I don't want to... I, I feel mean, like, saying it. No, no, no. Be, be honest. I was just mean, and I was just telling you that your depression is made up and that you shouldn't go to therapy, but why don't you like me? Because I think you're kind of stupid. What, did I, what makes you think that? What makes you think I'm stupid? I think the shit you say is really weird. And like that whole like Andrew Tate shit. You're like a mini Andrew Tate. But like, ugh. I'm sorry. You like gross me out. I'm not gonna lie. Can you give me a specific no point? No No, I'm not offended. What's the specific point that grosses you out? Okay. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what was that? That's scary. What's an what? intrusive thought that you have? Huh? What's an intrusive thought that you have? So, sometimes I have Spanish with my crush, right? Like, I'm fucking in love with this dude. And I sit right in front of him. Yeah. Sometimes I just think about fucking him. Just sometimes. How? What position? Like, like on top of him, like writing. I had a feeling you were going to say that. In the classroom yeah, or privately? No. No. <laughs> no. Ew. Just like. I don't know. At home? In my bed? Oh, okay. That's not really intrusive, but what makes this guy special? Why do you fantasize about him? He's so hot. What makes him hot? His personality or his looks or how he carries himself? Everything. Everything. Why don't you tell him? Because he, 
I don't know. He's gay and he doesn't really like me like that. He's gay? Bi. Yeah. Oh, he's bi. But like, he's gay. Yeah, he's men gay. who are bi are gay. He lets just a lie. No men are bi. Exactly. It's different with girls. Girls who are bi, like. That's true. You both. could actually be yeah. bi as a girl. Hmm. You think you could convert him? Maybe. But like. I don't know. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of talking to somebody else right now. And like. Another gay guy or somebody straight? Straight. We're going on a date on Saturday. To the movies? No, to my park. What you gonna do, just walk? Probably watch a movie like on our phone and just eat. How, you've, already been on, you've already been on a date, right? Mm -hmm. With him? Yeah. Wait, you, you were about to say something. He's not, a, he's not as what? He's not as hot as my crush. Not a lie. Imagine if I he mean, heard you. Imagine if he heard you say that. He's not my boyfriend. Like we haven't even kissed. But this dude that I think about fucking in Spanish, I swear to God. <sighs> He's gay though. Every time you think about it, just think about the fact this guy likes penis. It's just. Yeah, you're right. But he's so sweet. So sweet. You're right. He does like dick. <laughs> and he he's like a bottom too, so he likes giddy. Oh! <laughs> How do you know that? Because he told me. Are you guys in high are you in high school? I'm a freshman, yeah. Oh yeah, I shouldn't be having this conversation with you. Hey, what's an intrusive thought that you have? An intrusive thought. Um I don't know, maybe like opening the door while we're like driving. And then rolling out like a hot dog. When was the last time you thought that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why don't like, you do it? Oh. Uh, Why don't you do it? Well, I don't want to die. Hmm. So why do you think you think about it? I don't know, because it's a possibility. Hmm. I could. Yeah, I think about the same exact thing. So you, you enjoy living, you like life. Yeah. Okay. What's a mean thought you have about somebody else? An intrusive thought? Because that's, that's internal, that's introspective about you. What about other people? I don't really think anything bad towards anyone. You've never been walking behind somebody slow and then thought... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, but... Um... Like, hurry up, yeah. But how would you hurry him up? Just to, like, shove him forward? Yeah, I'd be like, move out the way, man. Okay. When's the last time in a conversation you've noticed something like a bad breath or, like, the way somebody talks or, like, maybe their nose is flaring? Like, what's something that annoys you when you talk to somebody but you don't say it because it has nothing to do with the conversation? You know? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. There has to be some, I don't know. There has to be something. I just, I can't think of it. Uh, I can't think of anything. You don't, you don't ever have mean thoughts? Not really, no. What goes through your head? What, what, what's, what's something you think about? that you haven't communicated to other people. I talked to this girl one time and she said that she doesn't think that whales exist, that whales are a conspiracy theory, you know? Like what's a theory that you have that you don't tell people because it doesn't make any sense, but you believe it? Hmm, let me think. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I can't think of anything. I'm so tired. Um, it doesn't look tired. It looks like it's bright out where you at. Uh, no, I'm from Texas. It's like really dark outside. It's just that my mirror on my vanity is like a light. Oh, it looks real. <laughs> Why do you have yeah. that uh, that vanity light? What do you do that for? I have mine uh, there. You can see in the reflection. Yeah, no, it's not a it's not a ring light. It's a mirror. Oh, mirror. A mirror. Oh. <laughs> what do you What do you put on makeup and like? Who do you look good for? No one for myself. 
But you wouldn't do it if you were just sitting alone at the home by at home by yourself. I would. You'd put on makeup and get ready for yourself. Yeah. Sorry, it's because my allergies are really bad and my eye cries. <laughs> what are you allergic to? <laughs> Nothing. It's just the weather in Texas. It's so bad. It's like like bipolar. So like. Do you believe in Do you believe in depression? <sighs> yeah, I do. Do you have it? No. Why? Um, I'm really happy right now. Yeah. What makes you happy? Um, I think uh, just like always like I don't know. I think it's just keeping myself busy. Not that it's a distraction. I just enjoy like. You know, staying ambitious, you know, if that makes any sense. What are your ambitions? Um, I'm in golf and I, golf is a really hard game. It's very like challenging mentally and physically. And I just think that like, there's so much room for, for like improvement. So I definitely try hard at that. Also school, myself, just like so many things. I don't know. How old are you? I'm 15. <laughs>